people can come home and they can use the other stuff. And, and there's Macca on the radio, someone calling and complaining about the satellite NVN. Do give me 30 during the peak time and 60 during off-peak, but guess what? You've got to either be a shift worker or, a, or an insomniac because my, peak, my non-peak stuff kicks in at 1 o'clock in the morning and mm. goes until 7 o'clock. Can she see me? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Is it like that? This is Mary's 70th birthday. She's just chatting to Kate on the sat phone. Her dreams of ringing Macca and getting a cake ordered for her birthday dinner tonight for two. But she doesn't want a surprise at all, or we mightn't get there. This is Rock Lake Angler. There go the tourists going by. There goes Neil and Pauline. drive out around a bit this try and avoid the most of it this is Tippy Pillia Creek side of the road is red 
It's dirt, it's only desert. The other side sometimes is black from the desert glaze, but in this spot, it's um, green. Whoops. Green grass in the wind. Uh, just about coming up to Walker's Crossing. Park says we camped in the same creek line as Charles Sturt, 26 August 1845, 161 years later to the day in August 2006, while riding our horses from Port Augusta to Birdsville in 2006. We completed the ride from Birdsville to Corumba, Ocean to Ocean, 2008. Pratt's Bacon's 70 of us. Seven of us. Yeah! Now they camp here in this godforsaken little this flat is spot. And Mary and John Ray camped in a spot like this. After the bike race in '86, Michael Campbell and Peter Hanson. Peter Hanson and Michael Campbell. After they left Birdsville, couldn't remember where it was. So there's the Walkers Crossing Road. taken by a, several Charlies who never used their radio to say they were, they were call up and say can they pass and now we've found Yogi's boar over here on the left so it's um, quarter to three and we're going to give the bakery a, a miss and have our own lunch here Pandy homestead which goes up this sand dune on a, a ramp where we've just finished lunch last three this ramp. looks like they just fill it up now and again 
in has uh, churned up except for the last 30k which was 110 kilometers an hour over there that's looking right across this is this, this side that's looking right across to the other side to the stables and the end and there's some um, benches over there for the spectators. Where I took my famous photograph. That might be his place to be bothered to get to. So it used to be a windmill. to our allotted power site. Some people will cross the Simpson in Ealing. It might even rain.
there's the Winnie Vega, caravans and whatnot. All new curbing and guttering and concrete footpaths leading up to the Birdsville pub. There goes the 70 year old Mary. Happy birthday. There's the veranda of the Birdsville pub. It's all been raised and edged. And that's full of happy diners. Mainly, mainly grey nomads. Well, Mary's had lots of phone calls to, from Di and from uh, Barbara and Roger. And caught up in all the news and dies very well and happy. I'm just going to go over and watch these quad bikes head off. They've come down the Madigan line and the, um, that track that George is going to come down. Uh, hay. Hay, hay. Hay track. And they reckon it's dry as a bone out there. They've been in the dust and etc. on the Madigan line on their quad bikes. And they're going across to the French line now. So these quad bikes have come down the Madigan line and it's been dry as a crisp and they left their vehicles, their utes, at Andado Homestead and they saw Hobbsy and now they're going to tackle back across the French line back to Andado to pick up their utes and they were there the day before we were. <laughs> it's a real secret men's business trip, this one. We're all going via the bakery and then across the French line over to the Fink again, pick up their, their cars. And one of them's got a, a VW bus, the same as Benita's. And that's at uh, Andado Homestead. He was towing a trailer with it and he saw Vanita's. And actually Vanita or Kim pulled out in front of them on the Fink Road. And they had to swerve a bit. They get several litres of 100k petrol, ordinary petrol. And they're 650cc. Austrian made. Special purpose for rough stuff. And secret men's business trip. Here's our tent. And um, yeah. Happy birthday. Sorry, say again. Happy birthday. What did you do? Oh, I had a lovely birthday dinner last night at the Birdsville pub with some, right. with some really nice people that we met on the way from um, Cooper's Creek. Noosa. We camped near them at Cooper's Creek and then again up at um, oh, something called Pippa. Pippa. So, so how, how did you get to Birdsville? Did you go around the, the north side of uh, Lake Erie? No, no. Well, Mary's in the bushes there chatting to Tom and Maxine and I've just found out where the, the bakery is. We're at the um, information centre. There's the pub and 1C. Looks like 1C. There's the bakery across the oval. 1B. I don't know where 1B is oh, 1 the oval. And one sees a tennis court, sports centre. It doesn't actually say bakery. Maybe that's the bakery. And it's over actually there, across the, the green there. And there's some people who borrowed my tyre gauge heading across the, the oval to the bakery. Hi Helen, thank you.
Thank now, you very now much. we've got I'm Helen and Terry on in Perth. But she said, I'm not that old. Well, we had free internet for half an hour in there at the information centre. Got some emails and uploaded 19 photographs, but they, they stalled. And the upload speed was 0.25 megabits per second, which was faster than the download speed of 0.1 megabits per second. And this is a cricket pitch in the Oval, which was opened in 2004 by Quinton Bryce when she was Governor of Queensland. And there's the pub. We're just going over to have a camel pie. There's a plane over here just about to take off. They're all warming up. There's actually a, um, a Rex Air plane. All the roads in the area are open with care. Something we haven't seen. Well, we just chatted to Neil and Pauline, the, the canter. They're going out to Big Red, and Kim and Vanita just drove past us. Chopper. Chopper just landed over there. We might go out and have a look at the sunset. There's an ocker. An ocker outside the pub. Anderson's whizzed up. It looks pretty smooth, actually. There we are next to Neil and Pauline's canter called Franklin. And we'll just go and have a, a quick squiz at the sunset. There, he's about a foot longer, the bodywork. People are gathering up there now on the ancient landscape. 
It's probably a bit sunnier on the other side. There's no corrugations yet. The sun's just up there over the horizon. You'd think they were on Stockton Beach. They've ruined it. Absolute, absolute morons. Tracks everywhere. And morons have driven everywhere. Anyway, it's beautiful if you can ignore the tracks. And there's the mud. 13 years ago that was dry and people were taking runs at it. And start way over there, get a speed up. Come up here and get stuck. Pretty sure they went straight up. I'm not sure where they did a turn. Six sunsets. Uh, it's a bit wet. Guys came. Why would you do that? He's going to get stuck in the mud before he gets to the He's going across country now. Yeah. He's making a new track. Yeah. Oh, it's dusty. I'll sell him the video, will I? <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to make it. It sounded like a V8. Uh, I think he's missing a cylinder or so. This is a Land Cruiser. I don't know.
Now he'll get stuck in the mud no, no. and not get back to the pub. Well, there's a little... Yeah, I think it's a cruiser. Yeah, yeah it might be an old 80, 80 series. It might be an old 80 series with a petrol. Oh. 